Hey traders, Rocky here, and I'm going to show you something that we just started talking about in the futures room just last week. And it was a member, uh, shout out to Rocky, who said, Hey, Rog, I've been doing this with the Ready Aim Fire and the hourly price movement volatility ranges, and it seems to be working really well. And I like the timing of this because this tactic allows us to take advantage of being nimble, being day traders on a short term time frame, and then realizing that, hey, right now with where we are, you know, right in front of the election, uh, what is it that you'll do between now and the election of a new president? Now, remember, there's going to be different days that the different states can give their official count. And so folks ask, well, Rog, is it smooth sailing Wednesday? No, it's smooth sailing for me upon a victor being announced or upon one of the candidates conceding the you know saying hey look you know you won until that happens this is going to be a week of uh, being very cautious about committing to longer term time frames i'll get to the longer term time frames in just a moment so when i look at the es right now and, and we're going to talk more about this uh combination of the hourly price movement range that i have to update every week for you guys we do post this in the room for free for gosh it's a big list what let me show you the list here all right so this is the document that accompanies the hpmrs and you'll see there's five different packs so i have a pack for forex a pack for etfs a pack for stocks which i'll update depending on what we are watching on any given week uh, a pack for the currencies and a pack for the actual indices including crude and gold and sometimes i'll throw bonds and arbob gas in there so this these are the packs and then these are what plot the uh, indicator on the toss platform that you're seeing here so that's something that i'll be doing more of now can you manually calculate the hourly price movement ranges with some simple arithmetic yes i mean another thing you can do is take the hourly price movement ranges and use some simple arithmetic to project them as we put in new highs and new lows for each hour of the day i mean this is this is how i started doing these on a spreadsheet and then that morphed into uh, the indicator developed from the same calculations that i did about seven years ago in forex so what we're doing is combining those with an overbought or oversold reading because these are both exhaustion triggers. In other words, I want to see the exhaustion in the hourly price movement range accompany out ideally some sort of exhaustion on the ready aim fire. I'm getting exhaustion on the hourly price movement range and I want to see exhaustion on the ready aim fire. That's something that, again, one of the members pointed out and I wanted to pass that along because staying nimble, whether it's breach retreats, whether it's hourly price movement ranges, whether it's V score, um, low buys and v-score high shorts uh, whatever that is that we're focused on let's keep it really nimble and really short term until we have the next president this isn't about politics this is about psychology this is about volatility and staying nimble until we've got a better idea on how the market wants to calibrate itself going into the end of the year in the premium video i'll, I'll discuss a little bit more about the three markets that i am long in going into the election. These have been positions that I've been building uh, going into tomorrow, and that's long infrastructure, short the U.S. dollar, and, and long gold. We'll talk about that as well as utilities, uh, real estate, and staples as where we might be seeing flow as the market's concerned about staying in the indices like the NASDAQ futures, S&P Dow, uh, and then that's when I'll go longer term now the cool thing about going longer term is we get a little bit extra time this week to build our watch list to think about how we want to be, be positioned um, longer term end of day and so this week and let's see here there we go this week on thursday 8 p.m eastern we're going to be doing the second webinar for how i build my watch list and etfs and indices and um, really how I'm going to be looking at the markets through November, December, and into next year. Pretty stoked about it. Pretty stoked to share with you guys what we're doing in terms of building that watch list that will allow us to take advantage of, you know, why am I long infrastructure? Why am I looking at utilities? Why am I looking at staples and which stocks within those larger sectors am I focused on? And, and those are the kinds of things that I think Right now, don't be in a rush to place bets before the election. Let's counterpunch after. 
I'll see you in the next update.